Nursing home residents represent a vulnerable population at high risk for infection, infection-related hospitalization, and colonization with multidrug-resistant organisms. A recent trial compared universal decolonization with chlorhexidine gluconate for bathing and a regimen of nasal iodophore against standard-of-care bathing for infection control. In this cluster-randomized trial, after an 18-month baseline period, 28 California nursing homes were assigned to continue routine care or, after a four-month training period, to adopt universal decolonization consisting of two interventions. Chlorhexidine gluconate was used on admission and for all routine bathing, and a 10% nasal povidone iodine solution was administered twice daily for five days on admission and then twice daily for five days every other week. The intervention period was 18 months. The incidence of a primary outcome event, transfer to a hospital due to infection, was significantly reduced during the decolonization intervention. A secondary outcome, transfer to a hospital for any reason, also favored the decolonization group. Decolonization was associated with few adverse events. 34 rashes potentially related to chlorhexidine gluconate and one sore throat potentially related to nasal iodophore. These were mild and mostly occurred during the training period. The authors conclude that among nursing home residents, universal decolonization with chlorhexidine gluconate for all routine bathing and a regimen of nasal iodophore significantly reduced the proportion of transfers to a hospital due to infection and the proportion of transfers to a hospital for any reason. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.